Well, I'm really happy to be here with David Robinson from Positive Feedback for another edition of Reviewers View. So, welcome right. aboard, Reviewers View. Good to see View. you again, Peter. Good this to see you too. What a fun show, eh? What a fun show. We're reporting from Expona, and I'll tell you, Expona has changed the state of the art show today. Right. It's yeah. a it, it's become a premier show. Premier. Yeah. Uh, the the site is fantastic. Of course, I I love the Western chain generally, but yeah. uh, this has been a great a great setting. I think the the sound has been better than I expected in the hotel rooms. Yeah, me too. And I think that they've kind of mastered over the past two years. They've been in the same hotel. So the exhibitors, once they get, they, usually they keep the same rooms. Yes. So then they know where to put things. So they, well, if you move the speaker back a half an inch, hey, boy, it does really make a big difference. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The longer that you're in a room, the better you get to know it. Yeah. Uh, and then they come with better preparation. True. Uh, the next time around, they know where you save time if you're not having to guess or you're not having to spend many hours trying to optimize that's what's right. going on. And that's that's evident in some of the rooms I was hearing. Furthermore, this place is very quiet. Yeah, it's, it's a relatively quiet hotel, uh, very solidly constructed. Uh, and some of the room sound that I was hearing was surprisingly good. So yeah, I thought so heard. too. Yeah. yeah, same here. And speaking of good sound, I'm going to kick off with some great sound. Uh, I'd like to introduce everybody, if you haven't heard of the company, it's Phil Harmonia. They're from France. They make a loudspeaker. It's a powered loudspeaker. The uh, drive units sit atop. The amplifiers sit below. It was the first mm -hmm. I've ever heard it. Uh, the people, several reviewers were buzzing about it. Uh, they were in the Perla room, and I sat down and we played some music in that room, and I'll tell you, that speaker just totally disappeared on me. Did you mm -hmm. get a chance to get in that room? I did not get into that room. I urge you at the next show to check that one out. Okay. No, that sounds really good. Yeah. I was, I tell you, I was surprised this time around at the number of good rooms that I heard. Mm -hmm. um, I had to collect more room sheets than is usual, <laughs> and in some shows, in some shows you come out the far end having walked through the ocean of everybody's sound and hardly got your feet wet. But the uh, this time around, yeah, surprising diversity of, yes, of sound from from the really magnificent, huge, full scale right down to the compact but very, very impressive systems. What what kind of systems did you see in addition to that that caught your eye? Well, compact systems. I have, I'm going to throw this out. Uh, at the last show at Rocky Mountain, the Audio Union, we filmed a big expose on the Thrax joining team, teaming up with Frank Schroeder, teaming up with the Enclines and that whole mm -hmm. gang. Mm -hmm. And the Thrax speakers, they were only that tall, and the room was big. And we went into the room this year, and I thought, uh-oh, it's a real long ballroom, uh-oh. Mm -hmm. I was talking to one of the Kleinbeck brothers about it, and he said, well, you know, we're, we're doing okay with it. I said, well, I'll tell you what, let's see what happens. Now, we had a treat at this show. Mm -hmm. Ying Tan sent us test pressings of the new Breaking right. the Levy. Right. And so we were bringing around from room to room to room, Vanessa singing. Mm -hmm. And Vanessa is playing with Tim, the guitarist. Tim does all the arrangements. And in that room, those little Thrax speakers and this noisy air conditioner unit, it punched through. It was as if she was right there in the right. room with us. Now, that's not supposed to happen, folks. Mm -hmm. And that was a surprise to me. Well, you know, it doesn't surprise me. Ying Tan has been doing brilliant stuff ever since I first met him. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a fantastic ear for what's good. Uh, his production values are top notch. Top notch. And whether it's an LP or an SACD or uh, even a tape, mm -hmm. when you when you get something from Yang, you're getting you're getting the very best. He reminds me the best of of uh, Jan Eric over at uh, Opus Three. I agree. Same kind of superior production value. So doesn't surprise me that that would punch through at all. Yeah, so that did. So that turned what would have been an average room into, for me, a superb room. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing like music to, uh, to change to, a room. Speaking of music, I'm going to, uh, this I didn't plan on, on mentioning, but uh, I was invited last night to do an interview uh, with Dear Prudence. Ah, I heard about this. Yeah, and we talked about music, and we talked a little bit about when we first heard music and music first moved us. And she mentioned when she first heard her little record player and was by her bedside. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned, well, I'm the son of a minister, and I would hear music in church. 
And but yet my dad had a little tabletop radio in 1963-64. Mm -hmm. yep. Some song came on the radio, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then so so we got going and talking about it. And to me, and that was the end of the ministry for you. That was the <laughs> she almost said that to me. She said, "I bet you never went to church again." Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that was a kind of a nifty thing. So these shows do do that. There's many many things to see hear and listen to at the shows right yeah yeah I, well I tell you I, I'll mention uh, a name that I hadn't run across before this this kind of surprised me and Greg Reaver was the one who pointed out he says have you checked out this this Volte system huh. and I said no I wandered into the room on his recommendation and here you got these clipped corner type speakers that's right going with some big tubes and some other stuff I was shocked yeah uh, I've never heard uh, Klipsch corner type speakers sound that good. Liquid, rich, full. I was I was impressed with that room. That was it was like a retro throwback to the future. I mean, Brother, I'm glad you're saying that because I've been following Volte from day one, and I've always liked that type of sound. Mm -hmm. And when he executes it, and you put those speakers back, whether he's using his own personal Macintosh amplifiers or the Leo that uh, Vinny Rossi has been introduced, uh, introduced uh, this past uh, 12 months, it just, the uh, room just melted away. Yeah, it was, it was impressive. I yeah. used to listen to a, a Klipsch based system back in the middle 80s at a friend's cabin way up on Mount Hood. Mm -hmm. And it was the first time I ever heard Sibelius Kulervo a uh, massive thing, you know, vaulted cabin, cool. and, and off these clip charts, and I've always had a weak spot for, for them ever since because they were, they were musical as hell. Cool. It was, it was great. Cool. Great stuff to listen to. Cool. So, cool. so what else have I been seeing? Well, I'll tell you. Synergistic research, you guys know, I like to do these demos and shoot the videos because I, I don't know. Some people believe that Ted's pulling games and doing <laughs> tricks. And I have had him in my home, and there is no trickery to this. These, these little HFTs make a difference. This Atmosphere XL did make a difference. Mm -hmm. But that's what I don't, I don't want to talk about that. You can see that in the video. I want to talk about the sound in that room. Yeah. And that sounded darn good. Magico 5s, I think. You know, that was, I couldn't believe it, those little Magicos. Yeah. And they were, they were the whole room and those speakers were totally transformed. Totally. I, I sat uh, sat through a demo cycle, and like you, I've had the folks from Synergist that come into my listening room and do the whole th I spent yep. two days laboriously going through all the swap outs and the upgrades, and by the end of it, uh, there's simply no doubt at all. This is, this is the real stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, people may snicker, but the people who snicker have never heard it. That's it. That's exactly it. Uh, I mean, yep. people who yep. don't believe that uh, Ted is doing something have not listened to it because as soon as you hear it, you have to say, there it is. There it is. You know, That's it. They don't hide anything. It's right there. Yep. Well, I'll throw something out. Uh, Endeavor Audio. Endeavor Audio uh, joined forces or was acquired uh, this past year by, by Von Schweiker. Mm -hmm. And uh, Life, who is now the director of sales, and Damon, who is uh, mm -hmm. Von Schweikert's son is run are, is the president of the company, mm -hmm. and they had a pair of I think they're three three point ones that they were absolutely disappearing mm -hmm. in their room here at the show at Expona this year. And the, so mm -hmm. a shout out to Endeavor Audio for uh, really kind of reinventing Von Schweikert. You know, mm -hmm. Von Schweikert's been around a very long time, and it's now time for the next generation of the experts exactly. to take over. Oh, I was really impressed by that room too. Yep. Yep. I caught that last night mm -hmm. and. Uh, the spent some time talking with life and with Damon and mm -hmm. yeah I walked away very impressed with with the sound that they were getting there we had as a matter of fact I think they were using some synergistic research cables I think you're right I think they power made, cables yeah I think you're right yep. which Ted yeah. didn't know about I told him you've got a, a whole run of synergistic power just cables he said where <laughs> down in the lower level. Where? <laughs> no, but I really, I really love the sound in there. That was, that was very impressive. So, that yeah, was my first experience with those speakers. Yeah, yeah. Very, very good stuff. Yeah, very, very good stuff. I'll take a turn here. I got, okay. I have to, I have to give a, a huge shout out to the GTT Audio folks. Oh. Uh, 
I don't want to step on anybody's lines, brother, but <laughs> I got to tell you, all three of their rooms. I know, all three. We just finished filming them, too, uh, no more than an hour and a half ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, the key three, uh, we shot an intro video last year uh, in Munich, and it sounded okay. It was shot in a recording studio, and I, I could hear a little bit of digital harshness to it, and then I heard it at Rocky Mountain, and there was a problem on the first day, and on the last day, it sounded really, really good, but yeah, my goodness gracious, today? Yeah, today. Today? Yeah. Oh, yeah, just... Well, 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 they've well made, I know they've made some firmware upgrades. Yeah. Uh, this, is, this is the kind of thing that uh, Bruno, is expert at and is yep. you know, he's one of the global masters yep. of, of digital and uh, I was I was impressed by the sound in the key room because here's a pair of speakers and there's an input and there's some power and that's it that's I mean, it if you were in a tight apartment yeah this would give you a kick-ass system that would fit anywhere that's right you drop down the the speakers are uh, thirteen five the stands are twelve hundred dollars you uh, the Bluetooth you run the Bluetooth over to it and it, and it's got six digital amplifiers in there and mm -hmm. I'll tell you it just fills the room totally with right. music yeah. right yeah well I was uh, I was as always I was impressed with audio the audio net room that yeah had as always with yeah the, me too. the YGs yeah the big yeah the uh, Haley twos yeah. 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 yeah yeah and it was yeah. Uh, yeah I went back today and listened again and yeah. now it's really in the groove and it yeah. was yeah. It was. It, it really was a, a potent kick-ass system, and yet nuanced. Uh, the Kronos turntable is fantastic, of course, mm -hmm. uh, but the audio net gear really brings everything together. Uh, they keep the Haley's very well fed and happy. <laughs> they do. Yeah, and then even the Mola Mola room was sounding it's sounding very good too. Yeah. I mean, so yeah. so Bill yeah. Parrish, Joe Kabala, all of them are doing a yeah, great team. <laughs> they, they walk into a room, and a while later they walk out, and everything's great. Yep. It's, I'm amazed by them. I am, too. Your turn. Okay. <laughs> so, first day of the show, I walk into the audio note room, mm -hmm. and there's uh, Vincent Belliger. He's the world-class cellist, and he's setting his cello up, and Dave Cope, who's running the room, has, I believe it's the Cobra system. I'm, I, I apologize if I have misnamed it. Uh, the new... This is an audio, full audio note system for under $10,000 for the loudspeakers and integrated amplifier with DAC built in and phono stage built in. Mm -hmm. And they had, and what had been done was in one channel, Vincent had recorded one part of a three-piece cello. Oh. And on the right channel, he had recorded part two, and he sat in the middle and played live part three. Wow. And that was, I think, the coolest thing I've ever seen in an audio show. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, thumbs up to that room and to that group. Yeah, yeah, yeah well, the, yeah. I know that AudioNote has done this with the cello before, so yeah. it was really good. Huh? It was really good. Wow. It was totally cool. <laughs> before and it was at a totally different show but that's an impressive demonstration mm -hmm. throw another room out oh I got lots uh, I gotta I gotta give a shout out to the MBL room I just have yep. to yep. for you know yep. this this Jeremy Bryan and Greg Barron of uh, UHA they put together their usual tandem of reel to reel plus uh, a massive scale. When you have the MBL Extreme system and four 9011 amplifiers and the usual reference, they're stack, this uh, big, folks. Uh, it really is. Uh, I mean, they, uh, we couldn't pick them up. Oh yeah, yeah it was yeah. it was it was so enormous. Mm -hmm. The scale, the depth, mm -hmm. the absolute authority. No mm -hmm. matter how low or how high, mm -hmm. people. I was I was there the other night and spent time after hours. Uh, mm -hmm drinking way too much single malt that, uh, that Greg in insisted on giving me a half glass at a time and uh, <laughs> listening just on and on and on and on and on and people were there were variations of oh my god after every 
after every cut. Somebody somewhere was oh my godding uh, what was happening in that room. And I heard what happened too is there was so many people in the room doing the oh my godding, Greg couldn't even get in the room to get around the people to change the reels. It was that right. crowded. Oh, it was huge. Yeah. Matter yeah. of fact, at one point they asked me to make a uh, a positive feedback official group portrait of what was in the room. I uh -huh. thought I had to, I mean, they're just packed and they're laying on the floor yeah. in front of the chairs. They're on the floor, they're on the ground. I, the only thing that was missing was people flipping out their bics and lighting their lights. <laughs> uh, it, was, it was like being at a concert. So that's a huge love fest. And yeah. as usual, they did brilliant work with it. Brilliant. How about one more? Okay, one more. Um, Dan Meinwald's room. Oh, uh, good. Yeah, Dan yeah. was in, yep. uh, what was it? It was CAT. It was the new uh, yep. uh, Air Force. It was the... It was the, Col it was the, the Coltrane. The, it was the Coltrane. And yeah. I forget which model of Coltrane. I think it was the 3. I think you might be right I about that. The yeah. Col yep. I think it was the Coltrane 3. Mm -hmm. And the, the sound in that room was just effortless. Mm -hmm. uh, we sat there. We listened to a lot of really great jazz. Mm -hmm. Of course, Dan is always consummate when it comes to to playing the great music. Uh, he knows it, and so uh, as always, I mean, Dan's a friend and a brother. But yeah. you know, s stepping back from it, I just say, look, you never go wrong with Dan. I have never been in a bad Dan Meinwald drone. So he and his associates just did a fabulous job. I was impressed. How about that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So, so. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Dan knows how to set a room up, and every show we go to, always in, usually in the top five, top 20 at the very minimum. Mm -hmm. uh, we just left the room. We've been big fans of Gamut this year, Gamut. It's not Gamut T, it's Gamut. Yeah. And uh, Benno was there, and Michael Vamos was there, and they were playing the second from the top of the line speaker. And this mm -hmm. speaker, it stands close to six foot tall. It's mm -hmm. not the Zodiac, it's not the $120,000 one, right. but it goes down to almost 20 hertz. And yep. it was just, a, we played that for Vanessa Fernandez, and mm -hmm. the people are around the room going, oh my goodness gracious, they, were just, they, could, they couldn't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> I gotta agree with you completely. I, uh, in the first place, Benno is just a hoot. I love no the guy. stuff. Yeah. I have yeah. I have a portrait of him sitting in his lobster chair. That's you dog, just, <laughs> just to die for. Uh, the lobster chair, I admire that. I do too. Uh, but he uh, he and Michael did a did a great demo in the room. The electronics are just sounding brilliant. Yeah, uh, those yeah. those uh, monoblock amps that they yeah. have in there. Uh, we're driving. They had 250 watts a side. Driving the whole thing with a plum. It was fascinating to hear how well that room came together organic organically rich, yeah. everything seamless yeah. yeah you just sat back and you drank in the music yeah, um, yeah. with no room treatment no no it's no. just the components in the room yeah. so I figured it must have been the lobster chair in the other room it was, it was, <laughs> that was from probably the other room. it it was it was really good so uh, yeah I agree with you a complete shout out to Michael and Benno they're 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 onto something there now, before we do, what we'd like to do is what will we take home? I have, I'm going to throw something out. I want to see Dave's reaction like live. Mm -hmm. There are so many headphones available out there. I <laughs> edit these videos on a pair of Pioneer headphones that Michael Mercer recommended to me. Mm -hmm. And he said, Peter, these are under $100 headphones. It's all you need for video editing. And I'm at the point now where I want to hear more headphones. So I get on the headphone sites and there's so many to choose from. And I pick up a new issue of a magazine and oh, there's three or four to look at. And right. I get on the Facebook and there's how many headphone groups. And my prior career was I would help institutions select stocks. I was an institutional stockbroker, and I would have a thing called a master list of stocks. I was an expert in 20 stocks. Right. So our idea for AV showrooms is to create a master list of headphones ah. by price point. So we'll have no more than 10 on the list, mm -hmm. you know, zero to $50, $50 to $250. We're working right. on the list right now. Right. And we found a reviewer who 
runs a Facebook channel. His name is Corey Hodges. Oh, he's, yeah. Yeah, he's fairly Corey. well known. Just of the coolest guys <laughs> you could ever meet. If you want to know anything about headphones, you pick up the phone and call Corey or you give him a PM on his Facebook. So, mm -hmm. what do you think of that? A master list of headphones. Oh, I think Short it's a great list. Idea. Great good, idea. Good. And, and Corey is really into it. So he is totally into it. He's got such a Facebook presence, that's for sure. Yeah, he sure does. Yeah, we hooked up over there. So, I, I think that's handy because. Mm -hmm. you need a list like that because now it's starting to get almost to the point where there are so many so many yeah so many out there that it's it's hard to sort them and even when guys like uh, you know gurus like Michael Mercer are mm -hmm. running around and and giving you their impressions uh, with all of the headphone discussion groups and everything head and the rest right there's still a need to, to help Break it down. Yeah, let's narrow it down. Like I would, I, I did this. I did this. It was about a month ago. I put out with a couple people who are headphone reviewers. I'm looking for a pair of $500 headphones. What do you recommend? And nobody would step up and give me an exact model number. <laughs> they didn't want Bruniger to know what they're recommending. Right. So I thought, you know what? This is giving me an idea here. So, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. we're going to run with that. That's a good idea. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. I've got to give a shout out right now to uh, Andreas Koch and uh, Playback Designs too. Yep. The Playback Thumb Room, yep. the Playback Room was really, really fun. He's come out with his new, and it's a, it's a brilliant move. He's got a new stack of components that he has made more compact uh, and and more attractive. I mean, it's. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very clean, compact look. I do too. Where mm -hmm. he has he ha now he has a music server, he has a a, a DAC, and he has an AD, mm -hmm. uh, all quad capable. So all of them will handle quad DSD without a problem. Mm -hmm. And he was he was cycling open reel tapes and LPs to the quad AD. And then looping that to the quad DA and playing it back, and you were able to jump back and forth between his analog source and the and in real time the quad uh, version, and it was. I got caught with my pants down in this room because I put the Vanessa test pressing on, and then afterwards the room operator said, "You know, we did digitize that." Uh, I said, "You <laughs> did not do that to yeah. me, and not tell me about it." And so it's that good. It's that yeah, good. It's As that a matter of well, DSD is, yeah. is digital. That's yeah. analog. Yeah, it really yeah. is. Yeah. You know what happened? I'll tell you. You don't have to be embarrassed. This this morning, uh, Andreas sprang a little test on us. They hooked up. Their, their turntable to the system and went back and forth between the LP that they were playing and the DAC going through the AD at quad and then back to the DA because all they had to do was punch back and forth yep, between yep. the inputs mm -hmm. on the uh, IPS3. Mm -hmm. Well, there we were. Michael Bishop was with me. Mm -hmm. Chad Kassem did it. Mm -hmm. I did it. And we're going back and forth, and it was, ah. The thing that was funny was that when we chose, you know, we said, well, it's so close. Michael Bishop said, so close. When we chose, we chose the quad oh, universally. How about that? How we, about and when we chose it, I thought, that must be the LP. Maybe there's just a little bit over here that's not quite. Mm -hmm. The quad was better better than the than the source. So I teased Andreas afterwards. I said, now we're going to have to say that MQA stands for My Quad Answers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a funny, it was a funny moment. Kind of embarrassing when you realize, wow, the quad is that good. Three out of three experienced listeners Gosh. thought that the better, that the minutest better sound ended up being the quad, How about not that? the source. So, great sound in that great room. Great sound. Well, I got to say, this was a, sh a show of shows this year, and I'm going to do what I'd like to do. I hope I'm not putting you on the no, spot. Not What's your take-home component? As far as what I would take home? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd have to walk away with Andreas's 
stack of components. I, I would, it would almost fit in my suitcase. There you go. I have one too, and uh, I was offered it too, and I, we're going to figure out a way to get this set up in uh, time, uh, mm -hmm. under time constraints. Is uh, Chris from Artisan Audio makes these beautiful one-off turntables, and he has refinished and remade this garage that is just drop. Dead, oh, gorgeous. Yeah. And he approached me and he said, Peter, of everybody in the world, you're the one who really, I know you appreciate my work. Mm -hmm. He said, there's a magazine over in Europe that would love to have me send it over. He said, but I don't want to do that. I want to box <laughs> it up and send it to Philadelphia. Right. And he said, will that work for you? Mm -hmm. I said, I think it will work fine for me. So that's going to be my take home. Right. Well, I, I should I should also mention that both, uh, both are under and Aralic with their digital products have things you could slip into your suitcase rather nicely. Yeah, yeah. I was uh, enjoying the sound of the W20 and got a chance to talk with Harry Leo Arander at some, at some length about it. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're looking at some new things in the future that I think are going to be very fine. Uh, Aralic, I spent quite a while talking with Shai Shang about, uh, about his design and where they're going. Yeah, I, we they, do too. They've got exciting stuff coming. They, they do. They, they're, they're packaging more together. Yes. Yeah. And he's hired a new sales representative too. Mm -hmm. So that uh, they're going places, definitely, yeah. definitely going places. Yeah, I mean, we're seeing clearly the ability to integrate wireless yep. and wired and all kinds of inputs. As a matter of fact, uh, their latest device uh, supports up to 15 inputs. Yeah, and I'm just I'm thinking, what else do you need? Gosh, I know. I know. I, I just thanked him for not including Toslink. That was, <laughs> <laughs> that was good. We need to get rid of Toslink. Thank you. Well, we're reporting here from the show of shows, Expona 2016. Now this is put on by JD Events, and mm -hmm. they have done an impeccable job of managing the show. I would say this is as smooth as anything I've ever experienced. Me too. Fantastic Me too. job. Me too. Liz Me too. Miller and all the rest of them. The whole crew. Yep. So a shout out to Joel Davis, to Steve Davis who started the show many, many years ago, to Liz Miller who helps manage the show, to the team of everyone who supports the show. This is the show to go to. This is the show that will take over CES. Mm -hmm. this is, and the weather was amazing. It's beautiful today. Wow. It was fantastic. So until next reviewers view, it's Peter Berdinger from AV Showrooms and... David Robinson, positive feedback. Great, David. Great Good to, to see you. Good to work with you again, Peter. Great to work with you, too. Okay, take care now and be well. Be well. Happy listening, viewers.